On the last one, we took a little bit of a visit to the wasteland, and even though we have a bunch of building to do, I'm not sure if I want to do all of this stuff today, but we can't put that one right there, huh? That's kind of a shame, but we can put it right there. That's, that is interesting. Okay, so we can put it there. All right, well, that was, that was a thing. Uh, there's a bear right here. I wonder if it wouldn't be a bad idea to just try and get some some free food. Oh, okay. Okay. And then we'll just switch to this guy. And then we should be able to finish with this. There we go. Perfect. That was all nice and easy. Would have been better if we had better arrows, but... It was what it was. Not sure how many of those shots went through slash past the bear and into the building, so my bad if I broke things. It doesn't look like it. I did spend a little time after the previous to the previous one, and I kind of finished off the decoration stuff here. And again, you might notice uh, it's not exactly the same. So I posed to you the question that I posed to you previously. What do you think it's going to be? Let's see if we can... How does this guy work? I know there's um, a variety of these shapes. Is there a corner one? Corner one. There we go. That's what we need. We need a corner railing. There. That looks good. I'm okay with that. And I, of course, cannot put a corner railing right there. But we can do this. And then we can rotate around. And here, we'll just kind of keep doing like this. And this is fine for now. Never mind that there are some frames on the ground. There may or may not be a reason for that. Ignore. Ignore. Ignore and stuff. Okay. And then we'll come over here and we'll do a rotatey, rotatey, McRotate. And then technically this guy we don't want to place right there. And that's... We'll have to fix that later. It's just... Um, we don't really have the, we don't have what we need to do that just yet. That's, that's a future one. Here, think of it that way. It's a future change. So we'll put this guy in place over here. And if I can remember my lefts and my rights, we'll be able to rotate easily enough. And we'll put this guy right here. There we go. Let's go upstairs right quick. I don't want to nail all these guys in place just yet, but look at that. That looks nice. Perfect. And then never mind, there's a gap right there, and that will be addressed before too long. I'm not sure how I want to do it. I might even I might end up changing that. We'll see. Yeah, actually, that's not what I originally had in mind. So never mind. This will have to be adjusted. Will have to be adjustable-lid. Here, let's do this. Because yeah, that's how that one's supposed to be. And then these guys are gonna come out. That's right, I remember now. Okay. So we'll leave things. Pretty much like that. I'm not going to worry about the hows and whys just yet. That's up to you to figure out what we're doing. Yes, that is a real thing. And uh, if not, sorry, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to add there. I kind of think, based on the time, we're maybe getting into the point where it would be perhaps ill-advised to run off into the wasteland again. So what we'll probably do is run off into the wasteland again. But we'll need to make sure here. Let's go ahead and switch these guys out for... Nope. Let's get rid of the cat. Or the cubes, because we want two bays. And, oh, we have a bunch of these guys here. Let's drop those off. We don't need them. That was from the bear, of course. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to grab some supplies, and then we'll meet you somewhere else. Arriving back in the wasteland, we are driving past the marker I put on the map. And that zombie just died, apparently. Trader Joel should be right ahead here if we want to stop by the trader. I'm kind of thinking maybe we will, just for the giggles. I don't remember if we ever got a quest from him. If we didn't, it might be worth a laugh to just do a quest. Let's hop off the bike, though, and get ready for the barrage of birds. Oops, my bad. I was a little too quick on that. Um, where did Where was that loot? Wow. 
That's some good random loot just lying around. Holy cow, dude. By the way, I noticed that I left the shovel at the base. My bad. Uh, sure, we'll take one of those, although I don't think we need one, actually, now that I think about it. We have a bunch of explosives. I don't think we need that. Do 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 um, I mean, I guess just for the giggles. Let's see, what do you have here? Let's take that one. I mean, we're never going to do it at night, but just for the giggles. Here, let's go ahead and check your stuff and see what you got. Wow, okay. Buddy, you just hooked us up and you don't even know it. Um, let's buy that concrete mix. And we'll buy all those timed charges. Oh, we don't have any money. My bad. Uh, tell you what, if I sell you those... It sounds like someone's getting very close. Can I maybe make you bleed too? Oh yeah, that got your face. Okay. Don't mess with my main man trader Joel here, alright? I will actually stop and repair his base if your corpse isn't in the way. There we go. That'll... That'll have to do for now. I believe I was busy trying to see... What wares this gentleman has. Sure, I'm gonna sell you that guy too, because then we can buy... The rest of those timed charges. We, we do want those, I think. And I probably shouldn't have bought them, because he's gonna have something else I want to buy. And I'm gonna be like, oh man, if only we had money for it, like... Well, the forged steel would be fantastic. And then nothing else of interest here doesn't look like. I mean, not this. I mean, not that there's anything bad here. Like the turrets are great, the bellows. I mean, there's some good stuff there. Don't get me wrong, but um, I don't know. Not really what I'm looking for. Uh, while we have a moment here and it's quiet, we just got super hooked up with this. So we're gonna take all these guys out. We're going to modify this, and we're going to throw all these guys in there, and that still leaves room for one more mod. Compared to what we were wearing, this is going to be quite a bit better in terms of general armor rating. Now, the big problem with it is that there really isn't any. It's just a straight-up upgrade. <laughs> That's the best part of all of this. Like, holy cow, dude. And then this guy, let's modify this because... I feel reasonably confident in saying that this one's going to do a crap ton more damage. I mean, could be wrong here, but I don't think I am. So let's go back to Trader Joel, and because we no longer need this, let's go ahead and sell him this armor. And uh, we'll even sell you that, I don't know, whatever. Doesn't really matter all that much. That's pretty exciting right there. Those are two pretty high quality upgrades. I mean. The armor maybe is the... Well, I don't know. I was going to say it maybe isn't the better one. But at the same time, it is a really good one because the additional mod slot really does make a difference. It, at the very least, it can make a difference. I don't know if it does make a difference in this specific instance. Let's go right across over here. Didn't even notice this, this place last time we were over here, but... One of the times I've played this game, literally this exact arrangement here was in place. Well, maybe I shouldn't say exact. I don't remember if it was Trader Joel, but it was a trader, and then it was this specific POI, POI right here. So easy for me to say. We're going to scrap both of those guys. We don't need the arrows. I know it's kind of a weird thing to do, but... Hmm. We're going to leave the rest of that stuff. None of it really matters. And we'll check the truck, of course. Now, I should mention that on the way back home from the last one, I did stop and I slaughtered a lot of trees. And I even planted a bunch, too, so I didn't feel as badly about what I was doing. Actually, I didn't care, but I did plant a bunch of trees just because I thought, eh, we might ride past them at some point and want a bunch of wood, and they'll be right there just waiting for us to harvest and... Basically all lined up, one after the other type of order. Now, we do need a little bit of fuel, so I think what I might want to do is stop right here. Because this looks like a fairly quiet spot. 
And we'll just tear apart this car. We will check what's in it first, though. Look at that. Got some fuel out of it. That's literally the whole reason for doing this. Excuse me, hood. Bonnet, if you prefer. I always kind of liked that it's a hood here and a, a bonnet in the UK and other countries. I don't know. I just kind of like the, the idea of calling it a bonnet. That just... That sounds fun. Hood is just kind of like meh. But bonnet, that sounds kind of fun. Just kind of like you have the trunk and the boot. Boot sounds more interesting to me than the trunk, but maybe that's just because I grew up with hood and trunk. And had I not, I, you know, might think otherwise. This, I don't remember what this is, but it's marked on the map as come back here. Is this the Shotgun Messiah? It sure as crap is. So if we were to park... Well, let's not park right there. I do want to loot this place before we are done today. So we're going to find a good spot to park. I think maybe right... Here is going to be good. Because we're going to end up coming out over here, even even if it doesn't look like it. Party. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to nerd pull up to the wall here. And we're going to use this handy-dandy brand new sharp thing that we got. And we're going to clear ourselves a small path. And we'll just kind of put that block right there. And let's maybe get ourselves in order here so that we have a quick escape if we need it. When I say if, I mean when. So let's tag that guy and then we're just going to start running through here and see how many guys we can find that we can get rid of in a, a relatively short order. Oh man. One more mod, and that thing would be a one-shot on those rocks. Okay, we do have... The main loot down here. That would be a gun. It's only quality three, because it was yellow. Okay. Get rid of him. Now, do remember that this is kind of dangerous right now, because... You know, zombies are basically coming from every direction, and there's nothing that's going to stop them from coming from every direction. It's one of the fun parts of this. Okay, so far we're good. And we should be able to just, like, mow through these guys in short order here. I mean, seriously, look at this. Just like a machine right now. Didn't get her. Only got her shoulder there. Perfect. You're a little late to the party, sir. Okay. So let's go ahead and get some fuel. We've already checked the truck. I do recall that. And we'll just do a power swing on that to get one. And then let's check these other barrels here. And then we're going to do a very fast loot over here. Alright, everyone, you need to be dead. Okay, we've already checked those guys. I'm just thinking I made a point of saying we needed some fuel. So let's stop for the fuel. This is a tier 4 box. We are going to... We're going to do this. do three of those right there. And I don't remember if that's going to be enough. Yeah, I didn't think so either. Uh, it's pretty close, though. We can finish it off the old-fashioned way. Although I am slightly concerned about doing that. We've got enough charges if we really want. We can just kind of blast through it, but I think we'll be okay. We've got enough time here. Two more swings, one more, and done. We didn't have that one. We'll take all those things. So nothing really terribly good there. 
I mean, you know, another quality five machete. That potentially could be better than the one we're using. I think there are a couple of little spots of loot in here, but I'm not going to worry about those. I'm really just kind of coming here for the big stuff. So this one we're going to go ahead and remove, and then we will probably need to go to that one or the next one. But for right now, let's just kind of take stock of what we have and also notice a bunch of vitamins. Completely forgot to take them. You know what? Let's just go to the next one. Never mind. Let's just do it. I'm okay with this. So here, we'll just go ahead and hop on the bike. It's not that far down the road. I don't remember what it is anyway, so it's going to kind of be a moment for me of like, oh, surprise, look at that. I didn't know there was a thing over here. Got the high school. The high school is not great for loot, so we're not really going to concern ourselves with that one. Motel and a gas station. I think we stopped at that gas station at some point, if I remember right. Maybe on the way out of here. Probably driving too fast for this place, but we've been pretty lucky so far. I mean, maybe there aren't any more... Uh, this is a problem. Any more explosives out here, but... I really thought there were. Oh, I already know what it is. I remember now. Okay. I am not going to quiver recklessly. I mean, and if I am, it's the bear that's going to be the reason for that, I think. Okay, I'm trying to get away long enough to get off the bike to stab a bird. That's what I'm trying to do. So this is the backside of the new residential area. It was basically a development that it didn't make it. And the best part about this one is that the final loot is right here. And I think what happened is we opened it and we just didn't get a chance to go into it and get everything. Uh, I don't know how I want to do this just yet. Be like this. Okay, I need you out of the way. Okay, I need you out of the way too, because... I... Oh my gosh. Okay. Height is going to be what wins this fight. Pretty sure. Okay, so that's why. Uh, some days. Some days! I need to get up on this guy. And then we can get up to here. And basically we're just going to break into the roof here. Hello. I hear Sergeant Flappy McFlapperson over there. Okay, so that we can make sure we are good to go, let's take one of those guys. We're going to drink one of these. And let's silently assassinate zombies where we can. That seems to be the smart play. Right? And then we are going to switch to these guys. And we'll put a couple of shredder arrows into that bear. That may not have been a good idea, I'm not sure. Okay, let's switch to our regular arrows. I don't know where it went. I mean, it sounds like it's back here. Hmm. Well, if we can kill these guys, I'm okay with them trashing this wall. I mean, all I'm trying to do is get in the garage, blow the chest, and get out of here. And maybe check all the boxes, too. Is that too much to ask? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, hi. We're gonna do that? Okay. So the irony here, I think, is that we are good in here for right now. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna drop all those guys. 
Take everything. We'll worry about the rest in a second. Um. Hi. Okay, take all the things. And I don't know what's happening over there. So I'm going to leave. Oh, I wonder if I left a mod in place that I shouldn't have. <laughs> That's what's going on. Oh, my bad. Now I know what that message means. That's hilarious. So let me see if I can show this right quick. Uh, where's the bird? There was a mod that I grabbed that I was just trying to find some stuff to figure out how to do some things. And um, I tried a couple of different ones, and ultimately this was the one that made sense to me. Uh, I don't know if I can... Yeah, Diamond Giant. It's a, it's a mod for... Uh, I think it's on... Is it on Blueberry Farms servers? I don't know. Something like that. And it's, uh, you know, it's this basically boss zombie that is ginormous in size and has a ton of health and will basically wreck your face. And, um, you know, good time was had by none sort of thing. Let's remove that guy. And as it turned out, that one I was able to figure out based on that one and a combination of a couple of other ones how to do a few things. And I thought I removed them, but I guess I didn't. But that is a story for another time. But right now, we are done. I think we're going to head back to the base with what we have and call it a short but fruitful looting trip. I still don't even know what we got from that box. Catch you in the next one, Tom. Thanks for watching. See you later.